Beware the dark water. Angelfish are one of the first and still one of the most widely sold fish in the aquarium hobby today. But for some reason, there's still a lot of fear surrounding getting angelfish. Chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and bologna, chicken and macaroni, chilling with my homie. With a couple of little tips that I'm about to give you, you can get your angelfish from one of the big box stores like Petco and PetSmart and have the same chance of them becoming beautiful, healthy specimens as anywhere else, to be honest with you. We are going to go to a big box store and I'm gonna show you how to find the best angelfish for the cheapest price. Well, usually Petco and PetSmart are really, really dead set against not filming in their store. Here's the deal, um, just, to, just to play it kind of safe, in this video, if you see, if you hear me talking to you, the viewer, as if I'm talking to my my, my old lady at home, it's just because I'm trying to play it off. And let, and let the games begin. <laughs> How you doing? Now I'm, I'm here now, babe. Yeah. Now I'm gonna check out some fish real fast. See what they got. I'll let you see them. Hold up. Let's see. Let's see. Let's I hope you don't mind being called bad for a little bit. I don't see no angels, babe. Is there angel shortage going on? If there is an angelfish shortage going on, then a lot of you angelfish breeders might want to get on the ball. Yahtzee! I found, I found some angelfish. They're all the way over here. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, babe, we have some, uh, what do they have, what are they calling these? Eh? They're long finned, assorted veil angelfish, and then we have standard angelfish, zebra, marble, a gold marble, uh, gold. Let me see, they're little, they're about nickel size. You know, when, you, when you're when um, you looking at these fish, you wanna judge them by the size of their body, not the, the overall fins. The regular ones are five bucks. The veils are just a dollar more. So I would probably get veils. What you're looking at is their activity. FYI, guys, you see how this angelfish with the veil right here is struggling against the, the current, like they're all down here. That, that, there's a little too much current in here. You might see their fins kind of wait, pull back. Um, they're fighting the current. That's not a good thing. So if you have angelfish tank, remember these veils, these regular angelfish in general, them too. Um, they're big sails. Regardless of which one you get. So you don't want to have too much current because they're going to exhaust themselves just trying to stay upright. There's one look at their body. Their coloration. Now, at a pet store, they're gonna be kind of washed out, you know, because they probably just got there a couple days ago. They're still stressed. Um, you want to look to see if any nipping is going on. If you see any, um, uh, you know, chunks taking out their fins. If you do see a chunk taken out, like this one, if this one had chunks taken out its fins. Um, and that one is doing the um, bullying, the, that one's gonna be more healthy than that one. Fish that are sick don't have time to um, be bullied. O'Doyle rules. <laughs> Thanks a lot, O'Doyle, nice meeting you. So if they're being bullies, that means they're healthier. That's just one thing. You wanna look at, see if you see any sores, scratches. Unfortunately, because the current is so high, they're fighting to stay that way, but you want to see them on both sides. So let's look at this one on this side. Now you see how these angel fishes' fins are like erect. <laughs> um, you can see how they're just standing straight up wise. That's that's a good sign. You don't want fish to have their fins all droopy and stuff. Now, granted, you have to take that with a grain of salt because these are veil tails and the weight of them. See, that's a super veil. The weight of all them fins make it droopy. You need to keep that, you know, in mind. But for the most part, their fins are straight, right? Um, you see any spots on their fins that might tell you they have some type of parasite? You know, you want to look at their gills, or possibly, you know, the um, if you can see any gills. Let me see if I can straight. All right. So there's a common thing that goes on with angelfish, and it's called um, it's like a gill disease where the the curve, that plate part of their gill, um, starts to wear away. That that's not a good thing. I don't really see that on any of these, but they're small, so it's hard to see, right? Um, what is another thing I would be looking at? I would be looking at their bellies. 
Um, if their bellies on the bottom of them, which the bottom of the angelfish's belly is right there in between their, te their um, anal fin, which is this long one on the bottom, and the two in the front. If it's sunken inward like this, that means they're not being fed enough or they're not eating enough or they have a parasite eating the food in them. But if it's out like this, that means they're eating a lot. That means, you know, a fish that, that don't eat is sick. A fish that does eat, um, chances are it's healthy. Um, you wanna see if any of these fish are hiding in the back. You know, um, that one, I wouldn't say is hiding. Um, I would say that it's just trying to get out of the current. And if you can get the, um, the people to actually feed them to see which ones are so more aggressive towards eating, that's the one you want, the one that's more aggressive. Uh, you wanna check, here's something people don't check, it's funny. You see the two fins on the front? Some people call them pectoral fins, whatever you wanna freaking call them. Um, some people don't realize that you'll see um, the fins, there's only one of them or they're on one side, both of them are on one side because they're so mesmerized by all of these top fins, they don't think about the two on the bottom and they get them home and they realize that both of those fins are on one side instead of one being on one way, one being on the other way. So, um, yeah. Oh, oh, one other thing. I've noticed from breeding myself, one common uh, thing <laughs> that angelfish get from um, inbreeding or just, you know, not being bred properly, it's like a dip in their forehead, right? Where, where it goes, where from the nose, it goes up and then it goes down and then it turns into the, the, the dorsal fin. Watch for that dip, it's not a natural thing. I'm gonna be honest with you. I would not by no means be afraid to buy any of these angels, any of them at all. So their body, Make sure their body doesn't have any anything odd. They should be completely smooth. Um, their fin should be intact and erect. They shouldn't have any funguses or spots or specks or anything like that. They shouldn't have any cuts or um, wounds. Um, they should be very active. Um, and they shouldn't be hiding. And if, like I said, if you get to associate to feed them, then that's what I would do. Uh, I'd be happy to get any of these. And at $5 for the little ones and $6 for the veils, I'd probably get, let me see that, six, 12, 24. Is there any more in there? 24. Yeah, there's only four of them in there. Oh no, there's five. For about $30, you get five veiled angels. That's not too shabby. I'm not here to advocate of one pet store over another. To be honest with you, every pet store is gonna have their issues and every pet store eventually is gonna have their, you know, their um, pluses, whatever you wanna call it. I'm just trying to um, show you what to look for um, when buying fish at a big box store. This particular one that I just came from, the PetSmart, while it only had really 10 angelfish, five of one and five of the other, I would like to see more, um, to have more of a more of a choice to choose from. But the ones that they had there, I would buy them all. They were all, they all seemed pretty healthy. Aside from the fact that I didn't, I wasn't able to uh, get um, uh, someone to feed them. They all looked pretty healthy. I don't know how long they're gonna stay that way with that water um, being as strong as it is, because then fish are gonna get tired out. Um, I could tell them, but um, experience has showed me that it's not going to, it's not going to change or anything. Once they start dying, they'll try, they'll try and figure out why, but me telling them that it ain't going to change. Anything. But I'm going to another pet store, a Petco, and <laughs> oddly enough, I'm hoping for the purposes of this video that they have angelfish that are not in good shape so that I can show you what to look for or what not to, you know what I'm saying. All right, so we have Petco now. Ta-da! And uh, this time, we're gonna pretend like I'm talking to Fishy Biz, Fishy Biz Aquatics. Um, Fishy Biz Aquatics, with the amateur, with the professional look and the amateur touch, read a book, where the wet stuff is the fresh stuff, yup, or something like that. But uh, y'all need to go check out his channel because he's doing big things over there um, for the kids. FTK, 
for the kids. So let's go in here, and like I said, if, if, if you think I'm talking crazy, it's because I'm talking fishy bits. No. No, I'm at the pet store now, babe. Oh, sorry, not babe. <laughs> I call fishy bits babe every once in a while. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I'm at the pet store now, Biz. Alright, so, unfortunately for the fish, we're in luck. Um, I found where the angels are. And, but this is what we want, right? I want to show you what you're going to run into. So, let's take a look at these angels. And I can show you what not to get. Alright, that angel is a good specimen. This angel, in my opinion, and for them to focus, see how its fins are clamped up? They're closed, they're shut. It's called clamp fin. That is not a sign of health. You want your angel's fins to be wide and erect like that, right? So you want that, now that koi right there, that one looks like it's very active. See how I'm moving my finger and it's coming? But you gotta be careful with that pink on along the side of their thing. Some people would like to call that blushing. Um, I don't have my glasses on, okay? But it could be a sign of, you know, some type of gill issue. But if you look at that one, it's so it's just their fins are so bleh. You know what I mean? There's another one over here that has bleh fins. Where is it? Well, you see that one back there? Why is that one back there for no reason whatsoever? All the other ones are right here trying to get fed. You know, you should, they, you, when you put your hand up there, they should be wanting to get fed. Why is that one not over here? It could be a stress issue. It could be a sickness issue. You know, it could be stress. You should get it home and um, it can, you know, pop out of it or not. Then there is, bum, bum, bum. All right, so that was that was the veils. All right, now I'm gonna show you the standard fin. And in my opinion, take a look at how small the standard fins are um, to the other ones at the other pet store. These fins are very, very tiny. Almost like, I mean, I'm not saying that's how, this is, just look, just look. There are some angelfish in the market that are called short-finned angelfish, and I don't think these are the case. I think these fish went through some type of uh, fin rot at some point, and their fins are just a little smaller. They will grow back um, to full size, but when you get an angelfish, you, you get them because of the long fins. I don't like how short these fish's fins are. I think maybe at one point in the future, in the past, they had some issues, but they look like they're healed up. I also don't like how small they are. Normally I like getting angelfish about a quarter size. These um, are about a dime size. So I would stay away from the, the smaller ones because with every fish you buy, bigger is always better. Because of their short fins, these ain't gonna make the cut. So like I said, um, I'm not doing this video to promote or discredit any big box stores. The funny thing is, is a lot of these big box stores get their fish from the same place. So it's quite possible that the health of the fish is the same until it hits that store. Then things change. In this particular case, um, Pet Smart, while it didn't have as many, their fish seemed more healthy. As of now, they're, they're keeping them kind of wrong, in my opinion, with that heavy flow. Whereas these, you know, they, they wasn't as healthy. At the end of the day, um, where you get your fish is not the biggest factor and that's true picking out your fish Regardless of where you get them from is the biggest factor, but getting your fish from a reputable breeder Gives you more options, you know, and not everybody has reputable breeders that they can walk in and and, and get um, Expert knowledge from the person who actually bred them. I I do I get my fish from consolidated fish farm. They also um, ship they have a website I have had no fish die from consolidated fish farms except for from fish aggression, whereas one other fish beat up another fish. But as far as health-wise, consolidated fish farms, I, I'm putting their link in the description below. You can you know check them out online, and if you put you know the promo code, you can also get some some um, a little bit off the top on on your purchase, and it will um, help the channel out. You still here? Well, dang! Hit the subscribe button, you might as well. If you're gonna stick around for 14 and a half minutes for this, you're definitely gonna wanna know what I got coming up next. Have you hit that sub button? You know you wanna hit the sub button. Go ahead, hit it. You know you wanna press my button. <laughs>